Hello friends, today we will perform a, a new resume case and this will be uh, for myself the case number 40 and I want to share you my experience about the uh, retrograde education for resume procedure. As you all know, resume is famous with its capacity to decrease the possibility of uh, unwanted event retrograde ejaculation. So I will show this on a diagram. Okay. Look, now this is our bladder and prostate and urethra. So the important part, testicles produce sperm and it is traveled in, it must be traveled into the urethra uh, to ejaculate. So the produced sperm from the testis moves into the epididymis. And from the epididymis it moves into vas deferens and moves in through the body and joins the urethra channel in the verumontanum. This is verumontanum. And here the urethra urine channel and the sperm channels meet together. When we ejaculate, the most of the ejaculatory fluid is from seminal vesicles, which is located here and prostate uh, secretions. And some of them is from sperm. Maybe 5% is sperm and the rest is the fluid from ejaculatory uh, seminal vesicles and the prostate. In all of the prostate operations, we go in the, into the prostate from this channel. Even it is holmium laser or plasma kinetic or open enucleation, we want to get rid of the inner part of the prostate. So in these classic operations we make a big resection and the prostate becomes like this. This is the prostate capsula and the inner side of the prostate is totally gone. So now when the sperm comes here it goes directly into the bladder uh, when there is ejaculation. So we call it this retrograde ejaculation. Uh, and we don't expect to happen in resume procedure. So what we do in the resume procedure, we are uh, making some steam injections, hot steam injections into the prostate and prostate is not widely opening. It's partially opening and it lets the uh, urine outflow but uh, it is very minimally invasive. The most important advantage of the procedure for me, it, it, it is done in five minutes without any stress, without any risk of side effects. So okay, we did until now 40 cases and four of them had retrograde ejaculation, which is 10%. It is a little bit more than we expect, expected and which is uh, mentioned in the literature. When I look at cyst with cystoscopy to my patients with retrograde ejaculation, I see that in these patients, different than others, the resume affected this part of the prostate, just near to verumontanum, more than the other parts. That makes an extreme tissue uh, loss at, the, at those parts. And when the patient ejaculates, the ejaculation go inside to that part. And the ejaculation come out with urination. It's not the same as retrograde ejaculation, but still it makes a dry ejaculation, unejaculation, so patients are uh, unsatisfied as if it is a real retrograde ejaculation. So we have to prevent this and for prevention of this I think the best thing is as all the time the uh, resume company uh, pushes us less is more. So when you make a lot of injections to get rid of the prostate as much as possible you have giving too much empty space, too much uh, damaged space and the prostate volume is smaller but Retrograde, retrograde ejaculation is a very high risk. And if you do it close to verimontanum, at the sides of verimontanum, it's again a risk. So now I, I am planning to do the uh, ej injections of the steam less and away from the verimontanum. Uh, actually, this video is for professionals and to share my experience with those urologists who will perform resume procedure. To, to warn them uh, and uh, share with them with my experience how to get rid of retrograde ejaculation. Okay, first of all, 
we uh, visualize the prostate with the ultrasound and we will control I can see this is retra here and this is side lobes lateral lobes and we will control the steam has gone properly to all these okay now we are searching the yeah, this, our device is so thin that even there are some strictures in the retro, this is no problem. It can pass over this. And this is the very Montana. I have to get rid of this air bubble first. Okay, and this is the prostate dose. Let me jump into the letter first. For left lobe, I put three injections down, and now I will move to the right lobe. It seems a little bigger. Also, in the testament of we noticed that it was bigger than left lobe. So here, one centimeter away from the bladder neck, I put the first needle. Okay, yeah, I can feel the steam is effective inside the prostate lobe. Yeah. 
middle of the second shot. Stay away from this, and this is a good place. Nice. So, we do three injections in both sides, and now I can say look, there are some whitish tissues around the Vermontanum, these parts are affected. This part, middle lobe, becomes so much whitish. Okay, so this is middle lobe. I want to, this bleeding part, I want to put it, yeah, one to here. This may stop the bleeding. Living from here. Okay, this is nice. Less is more. I don't want to use my old injections because this is one of the reasons of retrograde ejaculation. This may be true. So, right side was bigger. Maybe I will put one more injection here. Let's see the upper part. Okay, this there is a bulging tissue from upside down. I will put one, one for this. From both lobes, there is bulging from the upper part. So instantly I can feel the opening is better now. Now we will wait for the melting of the burn tissues. After the procedure, sometimes we simultaneously do this, but in this case, we make the control afterwards and all the layers of the prostate has uh, influenced with the steam, steam has gone everywhere, so we are happy. 